Well, the way things are going with the Royals these days, Ned Yost is going to become the most liked manager in this town since Whitey Herzog or the most despised manager since Bob Boone. While the strategies of these men differ greatly as managers, their personalities are eerily compatible. Both come across as cocky and brash and at times can be arrogant and overbearing. Whitey was a much better handler of the pitching staff. Yost gives the impression that he knows more about baseball than Abner Doubleday. Bob Boone was cut from the same cloth. Whitey maintained a pretty even keel when he was here. He didn't get too full of himself when they were winning, and he wasn't a jerk to deal with when the things were not going well. Whitey was always outspoken, probably his biggest problem. He did not get along with the owner's wife, Mrs. Kaufman. It eventually cost Herzog his job. There are times that Yost comes across as a whiner. He doesn't like to be second-guessed on his managerial moves, and that doesn't bode well for any manager in this day and age. The thing I like most about Ned Yost, he wears his emotions on his sleeve. He'll tell you exactly what he thinks. He never rips into his players in public and seems to have a pretty good relationship with most of the guys out there. Whitey is hands down, there is no question in my mind, the Royals' most popular manager of all time. Now, I do think Yost is definitely the right man for this team at the right time. Management has surrounded him with enough good players to be competitive. Now, he needs to steer the Royals back to the glory days when winning wasn't expected. It was demanded after the A's left town for Oakland. That's Jack Smack.